Getting ready there, bud? Not me. We gotta make sure his gun's sighted in. Just a little reassurance. Little reassurance. Yeah. Don't rifle hunt very much, so. Well, uh, you boys got seven deer to shoot between the two of you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so you better get him sighted in real quick. All right, show the people at home what are you working with. 30-30. Lever action, yeah. baby. Marlin. That's a sweet. She's got some kick to her. A little bit. I got the you the other day. day, didn't it? Yeah, about scoped me the other day. <laughs> yeah! What up, y'all, and welcome back to another one. We're out, uh, call it deer camp, I guess. There's turkey camp out here duck camp out here the camp deer camp out here yep this is my first deer camp out here burning season camp a lot of camps going on yep. out here i think beth just thinks to make up excuses to come out here. i know well it's so fun <laughs> it's just there's nothing nothing out here it's oh, just us on a pole oh to go fishing yeah oh. good little crappie hole down yonder mm -hmm. uh, yeah uh, this is dover <laughs> this this is the doe shoot um, no bucks on this video. We're not going after big deer. Uh, this is doe management. And before I give, let you take it away and kind of explain why and what your dad does and what your dad wants and why we're here. I'll get wet. But like I said, before we get going, this video is brought to you by bucks. If you guys are a whitetail big game hunter, uh, unlike myself, but like these two, yeah. I, you're definitely a big game hunter. Yeah, uh, yeah. You I'd, love I'd, it. I'd have a hard choice if I had to choose between big game or ducks and geese. Yeah. And you, you just kind of get psyched up for it for these times. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like coming out here with the boys. Yeah. That's what makes it I fun. I think he did, he just likes to take people. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah, he likes to take people. And kind of like me, I, <clears throat> man, I'm so involved in the duck hunting and birds. Like, it's hard for me to go sit in a stand every single day or... You know, I can't be making videos just sitting sure. in stands. It's relaxing. Yeah. Yeah, but but it don't, it don't make the videos, boys. The video thing. It, you it's, know, it's hard. It's, it's hard just too as exciting because... though. Whenever you're sitting there, you're like, God, I'll sit here ten times, and then that one buck you're wanting comes in right. that you've put in hundreds of dollars in corn and feed and leases. And... True. But it's hard to make ten videos where nothing gets killed. Where nothing happens. Yeah. Like you have deer come in, but how many? times can you watch a video where people don't but care like like really? some other white some other like big channels they do like spot spot and stocks and Way a lot funner. of it's public which is relatable elk hunting. elk hunting i watch a lot of elk hunting yeah yeah we're just sitting in a sitting in a barn yeah we're gonna it, it's gonna be pretty bougie <laughs> gonna be pretty bougie today but like i said uh bucks hunting if y'all are some big game whitetail hunters guys go check it out uh it'll be linked in my, at the top of the description down below in this video big shout out to bucks for helping a guy out been battling some demonetization issues still uh since we got remonetized it's, it's kind of been a mess so thank you thank you to bucks if you use code bobby at checkout it will save you some money not bob Bob is for ducks. Bobby is for bucks. Just to let you all know. Yeah, we got to turn the AC on. Oh my God, you nailed it and took out the wire. <laughs> you, got, you got the fence. <laughs> what? <laughs> the can. Jeez. I so I just sat this very, very homemade target out here which is a, a log with a beer can on the top of it and I I the last thing i thought would happen is that we'd actually oh, hit no. uh, oh, the no, barbed wire strand i don't i think it just yeah it was hooked together no wait oh that's all no, tore up right there whole sharpshooter mcgavin yeah but here. i missed what i was shooting at well, you didn't hit the can no <laughs> well how'd that happen <laughs> i must have got close i mean all righty well, farewell, little buddy. Good Be luck. safe out there. You know where you're going? Yeah. Do you know where you're going? Yeah. I'm going. I'm going to, going to film. Side, right? yeah, I am going to film Gerald. You're going to self-film yourself. Yep. You want no, my Travis GoPro? Travis is meeting me. You want my GoPro? No, I got mine. Travis is going to okay. sit with me. Right on. Uh, so we're going to park on that side. Down below. Yeah, and walk. You that, can pull right that in that road gate. Goes straight to the blind. No, yeah, take that all the way back, and you can park it. And the tall grass behind you. Well, we can just. We'll just it's walk a long in. walk. It's like a mile. No, really from here walk. to over there is a mile. Is that, do you want to walk? Yeah. Oof. We're gonna shoot a deer on <laughs> the way in. Look, okay, look. He goes oof. Yeah. Oof. <laughs> okay, that'll work. 
if you want to do that. And All right, then that's uh, a game plan. All right, before we get to getting at it here, I forgot earlier. Good, good timing. Uh, he, Press is going to run you through why uh, we do, why they do, and why we are doing dough management out here. So, first of all, it's the beginning. That's what you can shoot right now with rifle. It's yeah, dough only. Pre rut, dough only, antlerless only. Uh, the whole idea of it is, is the deer population out here. My dad has a number on it this year. I don't know what it is, but he takes pictures from all the different feeders, adds up how many bucks there are, how many does there are. And our population is something stupid like 20 to 1 bucks. So the idea is to get it down to like two to one. Obviously that's impossible, but we try to do the best we can to have it like that so there's less competition between does and bucks deer in the rut. Uh, a lot less deer on the streets to jump in front of a car and get kick, hit and kill somebody and it's meat on the table. Right. So it's a good deal and the state added it for a reason. There's one after the rifle season in January as well. Like, gotcha. So it's a big deal. And there's five tags you can get. You can shoot, or you can shoot six doe. Basically, if you use your yeah. Either, either species, or so, either sex. so the state does it for a reason. There's clearly an issue, and people die from hitting deer all the time. I almost died from a deer on a crotch rock. Some of you know that, some of you don't. I got life watched, brain swelling. It was 2007. Yeah. So. Anyways. Yeah, it it's fun. It's a fun deal too. Yeah. You got? Would you say you got three tags? I only have two. Two. Okay. If we get the chance. Bubba's got five. We got five. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, buddy. Let's get at him. I'll see you. Good luck. Don't be scaring them off yeah. for us out there. Should be quiet. I'll be quiet. Oh, that thing's real quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby Guy deer hunting. Uh, Special, let me tell you. Well, we just rode it in. Gerald side by side. This is ridiculous. You just drive in to the blind. Look at we got a cabin up here. This is this is easy. Oh, it's hot. Coon shit. Yep. Oh, it is hot. Now we have to open some windows, son. This is this is this is Cuddy Cabin. <laughs> Welcome to the lodge, guys. <laughs> Never deer hunted like this before. <laughs> You're used to ground blinds. That or nothing. Yeah, or spot and stalking. Yeah. We pulled up. Gerald says, You wanna walk in? And I'm like, I don't know. We were we originally talked about using the side by side, and that seemed yeah. real easy. It was. It was too easy. <laughs> and uh long story short, it's real hot in here. We just popped open all the windows. This is cool. Uh, they still have the shells that were shot up here. What do you got over there? You got a few of them. What size is that? Looks like Preston's 270. <laughs> really cool. Big shout out to Mark. Thank you, Mark, for letting P. Diddy bring us out here. I appreciate it. This is amazing. This is nuts. This is cool. I'm starting to sprinkle. Uh, this part it's supposed to rain so hopefully it don't start pouring it is sprinkling i'm gonna put on the big lens um and i will film everything with the big lens as much as i can yeah the big boy so check this out uh this is the power pole right next to the blind that we're in just happened to glance over that is a dead bird on that transformer uh what type of bird is that drop a comment down below i can't tell i can't tell what all is going on there almost looks like his head got stuck in that thing i can't tell what i can't tell if it's a hawk or what so you're saying it's a turkey vulture i'd say so it looks like it's all black to me Looks like he got his head stuck and got, or just got zapped. It's, something bad happened either <laughs> way. Jeez. I am in and ready. The boys just dropped me off. Uh, so I'm in a little bit different blind than what they're in. We got a couple nice rolling chairs. We got a little shelf all the way around. 
And then I'm going to switch over to the big camera here in a second, but this is what we're working with. We got a feeder right there and then a food plot right there. But the food plots this year um, all got ate by army worms. So my dad just replanted all of them uh, about two weeks ago. So we haven't gotten a rain since, so they're kind of looking pitiful. But it's coming up now. You can kind of see the green out there. I don't know about the boys in the other blind, but I am sweating. It is way too hot in here. Uh, before we switch over to the big camera, here's what I'm shooting. I'm shooting a Remington 270. It's been my deer gun for a long time, and she's been really good to me, so hope it doesn't fail me today. I think it's a low. Are you going? Yeah. Oh yeah, pick that head up. Go sniffing around. Do something to get away from the feeder. No, yeah. Need some more corn. Just take your time. You got a clear shot right there. Uh, Alright. Mm -hmm. Got her. Did I? Oh, no, you didn't. Oh, my God. I thought you did, but Where you is she? Back She's one? in the back. Yeah, but that fawn's butt's right by her. God. But there you go. Ready? Yep. Got her that time. Heard the smack. She went left in yep. the trees. Yep. Oh, yep, there she went. I saw her go past that dead cedar. Yep, did she stop? No. Well, I whiffed the first shot. <laughs> I don't know how. My gun must be off or something, but we think we hit her on the second shot she went over and stopped by a cedar tree so if she's losing blood we're gonna know where where she's losing it at should be able to follow her and hopefully find her we'll see the other boys haven't shot yet hopefully they get something in here soon what do we got like an hour oh, and a half got, left yeah easy yeah we got plenty of time left so we'll check back in at the end a second they looking up here no that one in the back's the biggest on the right is the next biggest. That's why the, the darker colored ones are yeah. both bigger. I could squeeze a shot through there now, but straight line, I mean, I could probably make that. You got one on the right? Yeah. Let me give it a shot. What do you want to do? Three, two, one, then shoot or shoot on one? Three, two, one. On, let's go on one. Three, two, one, bang, or three, two, bang? I thought you were about to do it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, three, two, one, shoot on one. Okay. You, you can do the countdown. You ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Well, I missed mine. I missed yours, too. I got her, I think. Got anything? She was standing right here when I shot her. Yeah. 
a little shot at her. There's deer hair on this one though, right there too. But it's so, hard telling. So that one that I shot was right, right, right the, here. The first one I shot. The first one you shot was back here. Right, standing right here. Somewhere. <clears throat> Whole piece of bone. So maybe, hopefully I didn't hit her in the back leg like you said. <laughs> I don't know. I've never seen bone before though. That's crazy. Huh. That, I mean, it's good. Yep, more blood right yep. there. I wonder if we have a grab a rifle just in case. You want it? Okay, yeah, let's get one. Just grab your one. AR. It's e yeah, probably, probably it's easier to. <sighs> well, it's that time. Shutting her down. Taking off. Oh, we got one more window to shut. Unreal. Again, first off, I want to thank, thank Preston's dad, Mark, for letting us come out here and do this. So amazing. But, old G-Wagon, pretty frustrated. Poor guy. We got tomorrow. We, we, we sighted him in a little bit at the house, uh, but it didn't go like perfectly well, you know? It wasn't bad. No, as far as the siding went. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? We needed a better table to shoot off of instead of that chair, first of all. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, we were hitting but what we were aiming at. We tried. Uh, I believe Preston, I believe they shot three. You've probably already seen that footage. Oh, yeah. And then so we, more, more up here. So we found another blood trail. This was probably the first year, right? Yeah. Okay. So the last place we saw her was at this dead, dead cedar. Up cedar. I'm right down the back side of it and she's heading this way. That's a good pile. Yeah. See, originally I found that right there. Yep, there's more right here. Small spots, bigger spot right here. So if you can look at that, I mean, clotted blood, bright red blood, pretty good sign. Got one, didn't you? Got one? I think she's hit anyways. Yep. She ain't moving. Is that her right there laying down? There you go. <laughs> you redeemed yourself. We were literally just driving down the road here. They're all in the corner. They're just staring at us. Well, here we go. She's what? Getting up. Might grab the gun. Totally redeemed yourself, G-Wagon, on a freestanding shot. That was awesome. Got her. Yeah. That was a long shot with just standing. That's longer than I thought. Yeah, that was a freestanding shot. No mount, no nothing. I'll Dude. Take it. Redemption. I, I miss with a nice rest. If I could fist bump <laughs> you right now, I would. We will. I got a handful of light and camera, but uh, we found her. She's down. Waiting for her to do her thing, get done, yeah. and we'll go take a look. Yeah. Good shot, dude. Heck yeah. I mean, that was a hundred and, what is it? 120? Freestanding? 140? Freestanding? 140, 150, I bet. That's we'll range all. it when we get back. Sweet. With the old lever action. Yeah. <laughs> Look, now you're psyched. Yeah. You completely I was redeemed. I earlier. <laughs> <laughs> so Travis is a, got an eye. I saw this from a mile away. Another blood trail. Or another part of the trail. Yep. There. So we just yep, there's more blood. We just found the blood to the second deer that we shot. And it's all over the tree. Oh yeah, yeah. This one's gonna be close. See all that down there. There we go. Oh there. yeah, it's sprayed yeah. all out. This has, this got to be close. Oh yeah, <laughs> there she is right oh, there. Oh look at that. <laughs> oh yeah. Heck yeah. Close track job. Oh yeah. Doe number one found. Yes sir. Nice and easy. Yep. She didn't run, but. 40 yards from where I smacked her. She Perfect. Didn't make it far at all. 
How many times? One shot? Where's the shot at? You see? Oh, it would have been. It would have been on this side. So I actually hit her pretty. Hit her right there, but it had to have been quartered in. Yeah, it was. Yep. So hit her right in front of the shoulder because she's moving just a little bit. So I was aiming in front of her, but. Yep. So we got one deer found. Um, we're gonna head back out, go look for the first one we shot at. This one was not 40 yards from where we shot it. Got a way better shot on it, obviously, than the other one. A lot more blood, too. There she is. Well, we went and got the side by side. We are here to grab her. Uh, we actually don't know what P. Diddy and them shot yet. Uh, I'm guessing two or three, so this is either four or five. Get her, baby. Yeah. That's, like the that's a size. big girl. That's a good shot, dude. Good choice. That's a big doe. Oh, boy. Well, next morning. Look at this. It is raining, storming, going crazy outside. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, five o'clock in the morning. Gerald made us breakfast. Let's go see what he has on. Uh, what'd you, you worked your butt off on breakfast today. Thanks man. Oh yeah, all five seconds of it. <laughs> Came out and he was getting military on us. I've never had him. Didn't get to go elk hunting this year, so I brought it here. Hell yeah, <laughs> that's sweet. They are sweet. All right, I'll, I'll dig in. Huh. What do you, what do you call these? I think they're mountain house. I'm not a uh, military man, but they're called MREs. No, those are different. These are, these I are guess, good. yeah, meals ready to eat for the most part. So they're kind of like an MRE? Yeah, you just warm up water, put it in there, yeah. and let it steam everything. The MREs, I think, aren't those the ones, they're old. Old, I don't old. know. I think they're old, old. I, I had those <laughs> when I went to Oregon the first time and they did not taste good. Ooh. These taste good. Ooh. Put my hat on. You look good, huh? Hair, hey. look at the flow. Man, that hair's looking good, buddy. Dude. So Morning. I feel like it's on the shirt. Well, <laughs> my two cents on the biscuits and gravy here. Really good. I'm almost done with it. You plowed through yours. Oh, yeah. They're way better than I figured. They're dang good. And there's some that are really, really, really good. Huh. Never would have guessed. Boiled some water, threw her in there. How much is it? <laughs> How much uh, are they? They're like 10 bucks a meal. 10 bucks a meal? Yeah. Some can get a little more, just like those Alfredos and stuff I was talking about. Like 13 bucks. Mm. Those are good. They're dang good. All right, give everybody the rundown of the plan, P. Did. Well, it didn't go as planned last night, so we're going to try it again this morning. Yeah. They didn't get as many deer to come in as I was hoping. Yeah. Uh,. I don't know, we're going to hunt three different blinds this morning. You have a tag now? Yeah. Perfect. I got two. You got two? Yeah. Well, good luck. Yeah. Let's do it. I got some tags and you got some tags. Yeah. All of us got tags. We're going to try this morning. Yep. Yep. It's raining pretty good still. It's yeah. been raining all night. Well, good luck, G-Wagon. How long's this walk? <laughs> <laughs> well, we are in the blind. Hope y'all can see me all right. Um, awesome little blind, little round blind. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six windows, seven windows. Um, quickly here, I don't know if I'm in focus, shooting lights in about 10 minutes. You can hear it raining like crazy. Uh, all the windows are fogged up on this thing. Finally got the scope cleaned. It was soaked. Uh, got a lot of fogging issues. So hopefully that isn't in a problem but got the old lever action today we're gonna see if we can uh, make it happen this morning before we go home
she's dead. Oh, I did it. <laughs> yes. Whoo. That was amazing. What a rush. Well, I'll be honest, I haven't, I've never talked about deer hunting much, but that's the first deer I have ever shot. <laughs> she, uh, she ran about 10 yards and fell over. That was a heck of a shot. Took my time. I got a buck out there right now. You really don't know what happened. Now he's running off. Come on, y'all, smash, um, smash the thumbs up button, yes. It's doe management. No, it's not archery. No, I don't claim to be a professional deer hunter. But that's my first whitetail ever. And I feel like it's pretty darn special. I am out here just loving it. This is, uh, that was, it's almost too easy. I mean, it's awesome that it's almost too easy. <sighs> I'm ready to do one with a bow now. I have a buck tag. I need to get that done. Drop a comment down below. Let me know if I should get that done. I think I made a heck of a shot on this deer. You guys are not gonna be able to see anything. You can see that white speck all the way at the end of the field. That is my deer, so it's a long shot. It's not bad. I will try to step it out as we get there. Well, <laughs> I think it was pressed and he just cracked off. Sounds like we're about done here. Uh, I've been sitting here for about, I don't know, 20 minutes, 30 minutes now. And uh, before we get into it here, before we go load up these deer, head back home, get them all cleaned. Um, I guess the reason why I've never gotten into deer hunting uh, is because when I found bird hunting, you know, that's all I did. There's another gunshot. So either he shot one or two. Uh, when I found bird hunting, you know, duck hunting in particular, it consumed me. Um, it's always consumed me. Now I'm 35 and, uh, you know, just kind of starting to get into deer hunting. Uh, getting more interested wanting to venture out into different things. Not saying I'm burned out on duck hunting by no means. I don't think I ever will be, but um, I think it's time to venture into other things, big game hunting. And I've always said it, I wanted to give it some time and uh, give it some time before I started investing more, first of all, more money, more time away from my family. Um, man, it's starting to rain again. It's crazy weather. But basically just uh, making sure that when I do start big game hunting, especially archery and taking it a lot more serious is just that, that I actually have the time to take it more serious. Right now when I spend all my time hunting already, making videos, it's hard to make a hunt video for you all if you know I'm not killing something. Or, what I'm saying, it'd be hard to make archery deer hunts when you go out 20 times and sit and you don't make a video so um, I guess YouTube's kind of just taking rain you know on my hunting career on my whether it's my career for my job or whether it's um, my enjoyment it's just taking forefront and duck hunting and uh, when I was young we didn't I didn't grow up in a big family of hunters especially deer hunters we did a little bit of quail and pheasant hunting a little bit and that was about it you know uh, I, I camped a lot as a kid. I didn't hunt, so I didn't discover deer hunting until I was probably, or duck hunting until I was probably 16, 15, 16. So just the way life goes, and I'm glad I waited. I think it'll be a lot of fun picking up, especially picking up archery. And uh, I've always shot a bow. I can shoot a bow damn good. But uh, I think it's time to start. This I think this got me hooked, you know. No. I just put it right on it and it went. Ready? Yep. Ah, oh, I hit her. <laughs> <laughs> Preston came over to help me get my deer out. He said, you got a doe, another doe's out there. There's been deer out here the whole time. My gun is off. I shot 
five times. Oh no. And I, I, like she kept running. A couple of the shots were probably 180 yards, but I can't hit. I can't <laughs> hit anything. literally just sat down and whacked one. Did it go down already? No, she walked. She ran out that way. She kicked like I hit her. Okay. Well, we better go get busy. Oh well. That is P. Diddy's deer. We just got done dragging her back to the truck. Now we gotta go get mine and she's big. Yeah, it's like probably 50 pounds heavier, <laughs> 60 pounds heavier than that one. <laughs> and it's a long drag. Woo! But I'm gonna step off the yardage here. I wanna know how long my shot was and then I'll film my first deer. Pretty awesome, man. Raining, we got some weather. It's October, which thank goodness for pretty sick of the heat well here we are here she is first deer for old BG Isn't that awesome it is awesome she's big man not a bad shot a little far back a little left but not bad 162 yards I mapped it out I thought it was like 120 yards longer that's pretty long for that gun yeah pretty long that scope was... isn't as powerful as i thought it was oh really yeah, but good shot i mean you hit it not the perfect spot but it obviously worked because it only went what 10 yards from 10 where you shot yards, it? Yeah. yeah there we go Well, uh, that was fun. <laughs> uh, big shout out to Mark Preston's dad yet again for allowing us to come out there and allowing me to shoot my first whitetail. Uh, big deal for me. It really has sank in now. It's a few days later and pretty much hooked. Uh, good. <laughs> I'm fitting on spending uh, a bundle of money and getting me a new bow here soon. I know I've been talking about it for quite some time. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I did editing this video. That's honestly what I've been sitting here doing. Uh, one of the, one of the, probably one of my favorite videos I've edited in a while. Uh, pretty special, pretty awesome. If you guys liked the view going back and forth, please drop any comment down below, which it would help. Any comment that would help me and P Diddy uh, with this upcoming season's videos. I've had a lot of people ask for longer videos you know 30 35 40 minutes if you want longer videos like this one please as well drop a comment down below and let me know i like the longer videos i'm going to try to provide more longer videos so i hope you guys want them as well but like i said at the beginning of the video a uh, big shout out to bucks hunting baby uh check out the gear down here the swag uh-huh uh-huh hats uh-huh Use code Bobby at checkout when you purchase something. It'll save yourself some money. But the public duck hunts are going to be firing up. I hope you guys are getting out there. Please, please, please stay safe, y'all. Uh, I really recommend that uh, any if you do any solo hunting, um, just be careful. No deep rivers. Don't overload the boats. You're going to hear me preach that a lot this year. Not only gun safety, but don't overload your boats. Don't do it. It's very dangerous. But thank y'all for being here. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit the notification bell right down there. It'll notify you when I upload all hunting season. But until next time.